So every software application have at least one main window. In this lesson, we'll learn how to create an application window that is the main window when a software application runs. For this, I will demonstrate the use of JFrame container in Java Expo Swing package. For that, we need to create a new project in Eclipse because we are starting from the scratch. So just go to Eclipse, go to File, go to New, and select Java project. Enter a project name. So I'm going to name it JFrame example and click on finish so you will notice that our jframe example project will appear here in the package explorer so right click on the project go to new and select class so we need to give a name to our class let's name it window frame we should also give a package name so let's give it com dot swing tutorial dot frame example so you can give any package name you want so click on finish so you'll notice our window frame the java class is created and since we'll be using jframe so let us just import java x dot swing dot star So you will see here is our class window frame. So when our application runs, we need an entry point. So for that, uh, we need to create a main method. So I'm going to write public static void main and string arguments. So our main method is ready. We'll create a new method that will generate the GUI for us. So we can either go through a constructor or we can create a method. So for simplicity, I'm going to create a constructor here. So our class name is window frame. So our constructor will be called window frame. That's it. So this is the main method, our entry point of the program. So when the application run, it will be invoked. And this is where the GUI will be created. So let me just go in the main and write the code for the swing utilities to invoke this window frame constructor when the application runs so that it can generate the GUI. For that, write swing utilities and call invoke later method. So the invoke later method accepts a runnable so we need to create a runnable for that write new hold down control space and eclipse will suggest us a runnable so press enter press add a semicolon so in the run method of the new runnable you need to create a new instance of this window frame for that go to the run method type new and type window frame that is the name of our constructor now let's just go back to our window frame constructor so here we'll be creating an application window so first we need to create an window for that we need to create a jframe object just type jframe and give a name to our frame so for simplicity i'm going to write frame here and create a jframe So our frame has been created however it won't display on the screen because it's invisible by default for that we need to write frame and call the set visible method and set it to true so we'll just go ahead and run the program so you will notice it will create a window that will be of that size which is very small and it doesn't serve any purpose so we need to give some size before we go ahead for that just go to the window frame our constructor and give a size to the frame 
for that type frame dot set size so I'm going to select the second one here with accepts a width and a height so let's just set to 300 and set the height to 300 which will result in a square window run the program again so this time you'll notice that our window has been created and it has got some size so the 300 by 300 is default however you can resize it to anything you want so basically with three lines of code you can create a frame or i would say a main window using the swing packages